So, speaking of parents, I'm still surprised to find that some parents are still unaware of the changes that we now face with the SEA exam. But this video will just be used to go through the revised assessment framework for the secondary entrance assessment uh, 2021. 2023 and if you ask yourself self what year are we in we are actually in the year 2021 believe it or not so this text can be easily accessed from the ministry's website and it goes into the details but i'll just explain it for you and highlight it right the SEA is a public examination that facilitates placement of students in secondary schools in Trinidad and tobago based on the following criteria parents choices the choices that you place students performance by order of merit principal selection there's some selections that happen in trinidad the denominational schools principals have some choice um gender residence and multiple boots of course so the secondary assessment comprises three papers that all candidates must attempt mathematics english language arts in terms of writing and english language arts in terms of spelling punctuation capitalization grammar reading comprehension right so we have the creative writing, what we normally call the creative writing and the ELA, English language arts. Um, the exam time is 50 minutes for the writing part, 75 minutes for maths and 75 minutes for English. Now for this video, I'll just be focusing on the changes that occur in maths. So there's been no revision in the time. So it's the same amount of time and the order of how the papers is administrated. Um, same, the exam is actually going to occur on June the 10th. And if you calculate it, that's like 110 days until June the 10th. So we have some time, but that time is going to pass like. Uh, so the English language arts, ELA, we're going to skip through that and scroll all the way down until we see the, the only subject that counts, mathematics. <laughs> all right. So mathematics paper consists of 40 items. Now, this 40 items immediately jumps out at you because when you're doing your past papers students who watch just parents who watch just you have seen 46 45 in the past papers uh, 40 items that's a that's an immediate change so let me just bring up this past paper from 2020 number measurement geometry and statistics so the strands are the same so you might be asking yourself what, what is, is different uh, the paper is divided into three sections as displayed in table three I'm coming up to that table details in the terms of the allocation of marks and items by strands and thinking process and identifying the following table the 3a section one remains unchanged so section one has 20 items the distribution of a mark 20 items one mark each section two we start to go into the more meaty questions um 16 items these questions normally can have some areas in these questions that students struggle with when i'm doing this with my class um this is where struggles begin to happen two or three and then four items so we have some changes here section two 16 items two or three marks section section three four items all of them in four marks so these are the really um goliath questions for the students the different things that we test on knowledge application reasoning knowing applying reasoning um knowing is 45 percent applying 35 percent and the reasoning skills is 20 percent and very quickly let's just go through and see individually in each strand what's at stake now this is important because you know why when you're going through the past papers you may be able to just okay breeze past some questions because you know according to this it's not going to um appear in the exam and they seem like they're going to drag out this from 2021 all the way to 2023 so whole numbers remains the same everything in whole numbers we should be knowing the number strand and then as we scroll down into fractions we see some things crossed out so they either remove stuff or reduce stuff watch this one watch the first one we see removed here solve problems involving multiplication of a fraction by a fraction so a fraction multiplied by a fraction or a fraction divided by a fraction has been out dividing a fraction by a fraction that's out solve problems involving the multiplication of a fraction by a mixed number that's also out so those kind of compound multiplication of fractions um or fraction by a whole number completely removed now you still need to know how to divide a whole number by a fraction or divide a fraction by a whole number or multiply a fraction by a whole number is the fraction by the fraction is out decimals solve problems involving the multiplication of tens by tens well this this kind of carries the same 
um, concept. If you have a tenth multiplying by a tenth, the 0. 0. 0.123 multiplied by 0. 0.2 something tenths multiplied by something tenths, that's been completely removed. You still need to know how to multiply decimals by whole numbers, right? This has been reduced. This, this, this is the percent in the number strand. So solving real life multi-step problems involving whole numbers, profit and loss is there. The best buy, what is the best purchase there? Discount is there, but saving, salary, wages, loans, simple interest, that also out. Find the parameters of simple composite fun right so this is something that like pops nearly every year finding parameters when you have composite figures um that may be dissected into rectangles and squares and this could sometimes be time consuming for students but it's out solve problems involving parameter of compound shapes similar that's out sometimes they have two separate shapes in grids and they want you to compare and find parameter and ask the questions and that so that's all Develop and use formula to calculate the area of squares and rectangles. Now, estimate and verify the area of shape using square meters, da, 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 approximate the area, compare area of surfaces. Those things are still in, but when you need to develop a, and come up with a formula for finding the area of a square and a rectangle, that's out. So there's actually a specimen paper, and next week I will be doing a, a junk of this paper, free, in a live session, so you can let you... Um, if you have your students around, you can let them know. Saturday, midday, look out for me. I'll be doing some live essay work. Um, and as we come up to the exam, I'll be doing even more. So I'll go through the entire specimen paper and the following essay series. So we can get to see what style of questions we can brace ourselves for. If you want to find out more about the Student Hub or where I teach, you can go to the Student Hub that online, or you could search my name, Cohen Springer, or you can just, um, WhatsApp this number if you want to join my classes 7840619. So let's continue. Calculate the areas of compound shapes that may be dissected into rectangles and squared. Also, also perimeters with those compound shapes out. Area with those compound shapes also out completely removed. And just today I was speaking to the students about this that identify to identify the cubic centimeter and cubic meter cm cube and meters cube and i know some I, it seems that most teachers know this and already keeping um abreast with this because a lot of these students didn't even know what cm cube or meters cube was about in classes so centimeter cube and meters cube as the standard units for measuring volume identify that that's out uh measure the volume of boxes by stacking and packing cubic blocks into them and counting this is still in so there's a question like this that's still in the counting of those 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 boxes still in so don't think volume out on a hole and that's that's kind of what i was telling them don't think that volume on a hole is out it's just a cm cube and thing so they'll just go with the number of blocks in the question they'll ask you what is the number of blocks so you'll be kind of like measuring you'll be measuring the volume by counting and stacking the cubic blocks those of you all who do a lot of past papers will know exactly what i'm talking about but uh, coming to specifically calculating the volume and getting an answer in meters cube and cm cube that appears to be out based on what we've seen here nothing with cm cube meters cube you still could be able you still could be asked to count the blocks that will fill up this shape but to work out the volume itself using the formula we're not really beating up on that the relationship between metric units of volume so one liter is 1000 cm cube and those of you all who did past papers some years back you know that this is a question that comes regularly Solve problems involving volume capacity are also out, right? So it kind of it kind of redundant there. Calculate the unknown mass weight on a balance, including the use of algebraic reasoning. So they give you something. There's a missing mass that you need to calculate using some kind of algebraic reasoning. You're not going to use <clears throat> form three algebra, but you're going to use algebraic reasoning to find the missing weight that that apparently balancing two sides of an equation that's out um the 24 hour digital clock is out solve problems involving time and other related concepts using proportional reason reasoning so where you have to use proportional reasoning with time that's out now don't think the whole of time out don't, don't let it your, your child tell you time out time not out most of time is in most of time is in just where there's this proportional reasoning we have proportions um there's a there's a popular question that could be really tough on this everything in 
solids and plane ships remains the same patterns classifying triangles quadrilaterals pentagons hexagons octagons um scaling right angle everything there remains the same symmetry full symmetry full angles the only thing really out out of this is as i said um volume cm cube meters cube but we're talking about um the solid and plane shapes in relation to geometry right so you, sh you still should be able to recognize solids draw sim um this the line of symmetry you know there's a popular thing like every single year um you should be able to do those and that's that brings us to the end of what is in and what is out so hopefully this video helped clear up that so you know how to best prepare a child uh, um those who have students in SEA in, in standard five you all know that it's come like you do in the SEA as well <laughs> it's come like you do in the SEA as well too you kind of need to know just as much what's going on as a parent especially if you're into making a child do as best as possible so this this document really helps so till we meet again Love and blessings.